Today, I'm putting Blazemeter's new AI script assistant to the test to see if it can actually write useful scripts for me using plain English. Can it save time? Can it boost test quality? Let's find out and see if this AI for API testing tool can earn a place in your testing workflow. Let's check it out. Introducing the Blazemeter API Monitoring AI Script Assistant, designed for developers and QA teams seeking to enhance their API testing productivity. This feature addresses common challenges when creating pre and post scripts by leveraging AI capabilities, ensuring faster, smarter testing processes. Let's begin our journey by accessing the Blazemeter API monitoring. So as you can see here, we're now looking at a test of public APIs, which we've imported from Postman. But we need to improve the test by adding some pre and post scripts. This particular test step makes an API call to return 10 records. The post request script is going to be used to ensure the response is correct. So select the post response script section to add scripts that will streamline your response handling. Let's create a new script by clicking on the add script link. The script assistant is disabled currently for this particular team that I'm using. Let me show you how to enable this. So let's click on the profile icon to access the team settings. Click on the team's usage link to manage the AI consent configuration. Access settings to review the AI consent settings for your team. And last, you need to express your consent to use this AI functionality. And it's worth it because it helps empower you to unlock some advanced testing features if you haven't done it already. All right, click Save to update the preferences for future testing sessions. Identify the test step where you want to create a post response script. Create a new script to improve your API's response handling. Click the AI script assistant, then to the post response processing requirements in natural language. So in our example, we need to ensure the number of results in the response body matches 10. And also save the actual number of records and display this in the test results screen. And the killer feature is this AI script assistant prompt allows you to use natural language to define the requirements for the script to process the API response. So in our example, Let's type the following in natural language. The response body contains an array called data and must contain 10 records. The number of records in the array should also be stored in a separate variable called returned artworks and a message displayed saying number of artworks returned equal then the number of records returned. So let's click on the ask AI to generate the script. There's also an option to append the newly AI generated script to the existing script. All right, it's that easy. The script has now been created. It can now be reviewed and edited if required. Click the save and run button to execute the tests. So this is gonna launch the test and run the post response script that we just updated. We can also view the progress of the running test by clicking here. The test results screen shows API response from the test. And we could see that the test step passed and the script has logged the number of records returned. We can also see that the next step is returning a 404 error code and an additional post response script is required to fail the test when an invalid error code is returned. By updating the environment settings, a post processing script can be added for all tests associated with the test environment. So let's do this. Navigate to the post response script section. Click the add script link to create a new environment level post response script. We could then utilize the assistant again to generate the new script. And we can use natural language to define the requirements. So let's fill in the text box with test should fail if the return code is any value apart from 200 or 300. Click Ask AI to generate your script. The script has been created and can now be reviewed or updated if required. We can now run our test again and monitor the execution. All right, as you can see, the environment level post response script now fails any test step that does not return a 200 or 300 error code. So as you've seen, by utilizing the API monitoring AI assistant, you can experience improved testing efficiency, enhanced response handling that drives better API quality. So a lot of times when we talk about AI, it's about AI for functional tests, not necessarily API tests. So you definitely should check out how AI can help your API testing and hopefully elevate your API management practices. So does it work? As you saw in just a few clicks using a plain English prompt, I had a working script without touching any code. 
If you're running API tests and want to skip the scripting hassle, it's worth trying out Blaze Meter's AI script assistant for yourself. And it's easy to do because all you need to do is hit the link down below and take it for a spin for free. And then let me know if it actually saves you time in the comments down below.